Well, it looks like it was uh Mark Shaver, Micro Touch Titanium Rover. What? Day and a half? Two days? When I put the cover on. I think I put it on yesterday. Yeah, I should have just left the back cover off a little longer. I should have known. But I think I lost high voltage. And then it faded away. I'm going to verify what I think it is. And that's the high voltage being gone. Okay. Well, I didn't hear any high voltage. Ooh. Something in there screaming. That's for sure. Let's see if I can get a good connection here. All right. Let's see if we got anything here. Yeah. I got a little bit. It's more than I had last time. Don't know what the story with that is. Walks to the bridge. Where or where did my high voltage go? I wonder if it's that horizontal board. Vertical board could do it too. I wonder if that maybe. No, I don't think vertical board would kill high voltage, would it? But I am getting a little bit of high voltage. I don't think I was getting any high voltage last time the high voltage died. I, I think it was completely dead. So what could do that this time? Boy, that CRT is screaming. It hurts my ears. Um... This is right on spec. Look at that. Sam's calls for 22.6, right? Oh, let's see here. Oh, well, I was at 22.6 exactly a second ago. That's close enough, though. I thought it was cool, but it's not there no more. Okay. Ooh. Golly, did you hear that? I wonder if my modifications killing that vertical board. Beat it with my nice meter, huh? Pin 12 was good. Uh, pin 14, 23. Pin 14. Is that down here? One, two, three, yeah, I think so. Get on there. Then something smells like it's burning. Something smells fried. Ooh, holy guacamole. This has never been that roasty toasty. You reckon that transistor went out? You know, the whole time I've been running this, I've always been checking that, and that's been fine. Or something else went wrong, and it's cooking that damn thing. That could always be a possibility. Ooh, that smells terrible. Mmm. Tasty. Let's pull that transistor and test it. All right, we're hooked up. Well, can you focus here? Come on now. Well, that's what I was getting before. Well, I didn't cook it, surprisingly. I was wondering if this thing would get cooked. Yeah, but if I remember right, I think that's what, how it tested before, so... I don't think it's that what's wrong. But something's freaking crispifying this thing. Or trying to, anyways. Oh, maybe that tripler went out. Why not? Check these two big resistors back here, and they're both okay. Man, that tripler's still hot. That's weird. I don't know if you, the camera's going to be able to pick this up or not. And it almost sounds like a short when you turn it on. Yeah. What's this thing say? Ooh. Eh, double what it normally is anyways, right? I might have to sleep on this one. It's late. It's hoping to catch Quantum Leap tonight on this, but I don't think that's going to happen. Well, I slept on it. 
I'm not sure if that helped any. So what do you do when you're not an expert and you need to figure something like this out? That's a good question, and I'm trying to figure that out myself. Best I can think is try to just uh, troubleshoot and deduct on what you do know. But there's one thing that can be definitely said is that, you know, the proper tools will do the job. And unfortunately, I don't got all of the proper tools to do this job, which makes it a lot harder. The reason why I say that is, I, is I'm kind of deducting here, trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, it looks like the tripler is original, from what I can tell, and that it normally shorts out and trips the breaker which didn't happen but maybe it's mostly shorted but they got things to test that and i don't got that also it looks like my luck may be running out because i don't have a tripler and i can't even get one on ebay or nothing at the moment so i got to keep my eyes peeled if that's what failed we might be out of commission for a bit so how do we figure something out here let's go back to a couple things one the horizontal output transistor here was getting really hot when it should never has and the tripler was super hot well one of the things I'm thinking is maybe see if we can check out the voltages on this horizontal output transistor it's getting real hot so I figure that something there has got to be wrong I don't know but I want to keep the test as quick as possible because it looks, it sounds like there's a load or short as well. As I don't want to hurt anything, any worse than it is. Where do you see this thing explode? I'll plug her in here. Negative 1.4. Well, it's not too much different. 1.27. You can get it on the other one down there without, I don't know, maybe another chance at blowing it up. Nothing on that one. All right, let's blow it up, blow it up. One hundred and thirteen. Those are all pretty close numbers. Zero on emitter. You had what one point four on the base. What was that? One hundred and sixteen just now or something on the collector. Those look good. I figured it would be a little off if it was being drugged down. There's got to be a reason why that's getting so hot. There's a damper diode. CRX211. I wonder if something like that's gone out. Or there's that CX229 capacitor. Don't know. I wish there was a way I could test that tripler. See, maybe that's the problem. I'm going to have to sit and stew on this for a little bit. Well, fellas, I might be on to something. Thought I'd start checking capacitors for dead shorts just because it kind of feels like there's a kind of a dead short kind of deal going on here see a little black 10 volt 50 microfarad capacitor well you got a dead short on that side and that side I'm suspect of this pupper and what's interesting about that, that's uh, capacitor 227, which happens to be right over here by the transistor. Here's 227. So if that thing shorts the ground, maybe that's pulling this whole thing down. Uh, I'm sure you guys caught this before I did. But uh, that capacitor checks fine. And look what's across it, a 1.5 ohm resistor so that's why we're showing short to ground it's a shame I cut the uh, lead so short I put it back in there 
And I'll clip one in there for the heck of it. See what happens. Oh, well, all right, we're clipped in there. You pretty much already know this ain't gonna work. Yep, no dice. It almost seems like I should pull that, disconnect that tripler or something. I disconnected the flyback from the tripler. I got the high voltage probe out. I should have, what, five or 10,000 volts there. Um, and the tripler takes it up to 30. Now I'm gonna plug it in and see what happens. This high voltage stuff's a little bit, I'm a little bit leery of it. All right, let's see. Oh. All right, I hear some stuff going on over here. Ooh. Ooh, this smells awesome. I mean, that makes me think that the flyback's working. Right? So, I mean, the high voltage circuit's working until that point. So, if it's working to this point here, out of the flyback, then it just got to get tripled up and put out. And it's not doing that. And it's getting really hot. I think this thing's killing, killing the system. It's the only thing I can think of, and I don't have a, I don't have one of these. I think I got an order in on Mauser for Sprague. It was a 50 UF at um, 16 volts, so that's really close. I, um, no luck, no luck on finding a high voltage tripler or the equivalent replacement that Zenith made for it. Neither one of them. I can't, I can't seem to find one. All right, parts are finally in. I got the nice capacitor from Mauser here to replace the um, one I cut out and a replacement tripler. Let me tell you, I think this is becoming rare titanium. It took me weeks to get a hold of this tripler from NTE. I thought I had the 977 replacement for the 145 on the Zenith part, but it got canceled. It said it didn't have it. And the same thing with this. Several websites, I, I scoured them all, and I, they say they have it in stock and go to order it. The order gets canceled. They don't got it. They can't get it because the manufacturer don't make it anymore. Well, finally one of them had it. And here it is. So, I have the NTE528 tripler for this set. Something I don't know about, I'm going to check the schematic and see if it'll clarify this. And um, the paperwork that I found online from NTE says this has an internal focus divider network. And I don't know if that little resistor on the side of the current tripler is the focus divider resistor if that resistor has a stay or go i don't know um there's no there's no instructions with this and what i found online doesn't really tell you much you know they're assuming that you know you know what you're doing <laughs> and uh well i don't know what i'm doing for the most part I know, uh, what do they say, what do they call it, I know enough, uh, gosh, what's that saying, uh, know enough to be dangerous, that's it, that's how much I know, there we are, so, ooh, look at that, that's nice, she's pretty, I don't know, is that long enough, hopefully that's long enough, it looks awfully short, but, 
well, we'll see. Get the soldering iron and we'll get this put together. Something I saw in another video, I really liked the idea. And that was uh, an hour meter on it. Heck, for the heck of it, I'm going to put an hour meter on all of them just to just to see when, when the problem happens we can check and see how many hours it is between the problems what's gone wrong and I'm gonna do the uh, the console the tabletop version even the 66 CTC 16 XL over there I put one of those in there too why not oh I should maybe stick one in that yeah stick them in them all all right Okay, that resistor I saw right off the triplers is 500 mega ohm right there. That 7 watt 500 mega ohm. This down here looks like it's a focus resistor 20 mega ohm. Um, I'm not sure exactly where that's at. But I'm going to go ahead and just uh, do a like for like swap out and we'll see what it does if it'll focus and work correctly. She's back together. So the moment we've been waiting for. All right, let's cross our fingers here, fellers. All right, well, I heard high voltage. Ooh, I still feel it. Ooh, oh yes. I'm super excited to see that. So it was the tripler, and we're back in business. Heck yes. Oh yeah. I forgot how nice this looks. Well, the focus looks really good right now. Should see if I can adjust it. Possibly some snow. That'd be nice, huh? Thanks, Phil. Coming from sports, Matt Rule completes his coaching staff. The rundown just ahead. Plus, the roller coaster ride continues. Man, awesome, awesome. I'm so glad I was able to find one of these, but man, was it hard. Three weeks and a lot of searching and searching and trying and trying. So, see how I could tack this thing in here. It could be 120 or 240, between 120 and 240 AC. All right, well, got the hour meter in and soldered. Don't know if I checked it yet, but we're at 1.3 hours. Yeah, I wish I would have done that originally. That would have been cool. Uh, now it's just to clean it up, put it all back together. And uh, hopefully it would be good for a little while. A really good friend of mine that runs the YouTube channel Home and Dog sent this to me um, what's funny is he found it a couple months before I even got my Zenith console television he saw it and thought of me I thought that was really cool uh, it's a pretty cool sign handcrafted hand wired back in the days of the quality Zenith this Nebraska's next US Senator hey, well the picture quality no is Alaska, huh? Really good. Rob, Julie, the U.S. Senate reconvenes January 23rd. That's when Ricketts is expected to be sworn in. He'll join it's nice to have it back. It's got a great Robert picture. Decent audio. I think the audio is a little bit better on the 66 RCA, but it's still pretty good on this. But the picture quality is it's nice. It's a, such a nice set. We need to hold Washington, D.C. accountable. 